All right, so what's brewing? Well, we're back to this conversation, which I just spoke about not too long ago, concerning Corey Hardrick and Tia Mowry. This is really interesting to me because it's also highly predictable that Corey Hardrick is getting a reaction that most men would expect after opening up and being vulnerable about how he felt regarding his divorce. Now, it would, have, it would have been a huge shock to everybody, including myself, if Corey Hardry came out and said, you know what? She's right. I graduated too. I'm happy that we got divorced. This is what I wanted. That would prove that I was wrong about how he felt based on how he was moving. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the comments. How are women reacting to a man who's expressing himself about an emotional experience that maybe most men wouldn't express themselves or express at all on a public platform? We're about to find out. The caption of this post reads, Corey Hodrick opens up about struggling after divorce from Tia Mary. It was a year and a half of crying myself to sleep every night. Now, that's a really descriptive way of describing a very emotional experience, what sounds like a difficult time. Now, let's be honest. Did he cry every single night? Highly unlikely. He was crying because he did not want to lose his family. And my question to you is, how do you think that the women reacted in the comment section? How do you think they acted? How do you think they reacted in the comment section? Well, let's check out this first comment that we can all see right here. This commenter says, I get a little nervous when Shade Room shows a grown man being vulnerable. This page can be brutal. Respect to him for opening up about it. This has over 5,000 likes. I assume these are mostly men who are commenting right here. Right under that is a rebuttal to Corey Hardrick, right? Here, this commenter says she cried herself to sleep every night because she was miserable. Now, we know these chicks can easily slip. You know, they can slip into this situation and imagine what it's like. Why? Because they've also, like half of the majority of the women today, ended their marriages and left, can slip into that situation and give their take on it. She goes on to say she was miserable in the marriage. He did the same after it was over. Both of their pain is valid. Okay, cool. At least she's acknowledging that both their pain is valid. Please don't pit them against each other or try to take sides. Just this post and the way it's written doesn't sound like somebody who's just comforting Corey Hardrick as he is expressing himself. All right? Was it necessary to say, unless, by the way, unless, you're claiming that you are for the interest of the woman, right? Saying that and being like, all right, um, it's fair. Don't take sides. You didn't even, you know, let me, let me say this. Let me say this. If a woman was to be on here crying, what she would expect, what they would expect from society is for them to validate their feelings. Here's somebody else who says, crying yourself to sleep while she on TikTok dancing is crazy. Here's somebody else who added, this man been crying, and Tia over here crip walking to Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> these are funny comments. I haven't, read, I haven't read all these comments. These comments are kind of funny. But we're about to get to the other comments, which are the majority of the comments who were pretty much making fun of him for crying. This commenter says, crying myself to sleep every night for a year and a half, laying it on little thick there, brother. He says, stop it. This chick says, everything about her screams freedom. Clearly, he was a burden. I don't know in what way, but I mean, she's happy. Let him tell his story and she'll continue to show hers. There's another chick who says, okay, how many nights did she cry? The F, right? And of course, somebody hears, Posting Tia Mary drinking her alcohol. Somebody else here added, as beautiful as the sermon was, 
what you do to that lady. This gentleman says, he's bold as hell. Salute. We usually don't speak about stuff like this. This chick says, should have thought about that when you had her. Um, another person here says, she was the breadwinner. Obviously, you were bound to struggle. And what else do we have here? Cried yourself to sleep every night, huh? Okay, brother. Right? They're downplaying it. This chick here says, nobody believes you, Corey. Somebody else here added, not he cried himself to sleep every night. LOL. And like the lower, the, you know, the, 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 the popular comments that people are liking are like, hey, don't make fun of them. But the more you scroll down, the more you see that a lot of these chicks are just laughing at him for expressing himself. And so you may be asking, well, what's your point, Shisha? You laugh at women crying all the time. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. Here's the difference. Here's the difference. Men's platforms like myself are one of the only ones where we're not going to just believe female tears just because it's a woman. The difference is men expect that if they express themselves emotionally, they will get laughed at. And women expect that if they express themselves emotionally and are vulnerable, society will comfort them. Why? Because that is exactly what happens. And so, should we try to fix society? I think you can raise awareness, but I also believe that men and women are different. And there's a reason why men are less emotional. You should not be as emotional as women. I'm not saying that you should never cry and a man never cries. That's crazy. I mean, even the people who, in the last video I released of Corey Hardrick, were commenting, saying, what's he talking about crying himself asleep? Like, they were making fun of him in the video I did on a platform for men where men should have a safer space to express themselves. That's wrong. You're never going to not get emotional in life as a man. Women say they want you to be more emotional once you express yourself. While that may be true, Trust and believe that they don't want you to be more emotional than them. Drink the coffee. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. They do not want a man who's more emotional than them. Yes, part of the reason why Corey Hardrick probably wasn't honest about what he was thinking, going through, and what he was uh, experiencing, because he probably knew that he would get a lot of these type of responses, people who are laughing at him. Would that change? It can get better. Like we can see some of the top comments there. People were saying, hey, let's, let's be more accepting of a man being vulnerable. True. But you can't completely change the reality of female nature and male nature. When I say that, I don't mean that bottle your emotions and never open up. But I respect him for not doing the Tia Mary thing, the womanly thing to do and going around um, talking about your relationship publicly, there's respect in that. I respect men who aren't the first one to cry and complain in their relationships. Can you at least not be the first one, right? You, 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 your goal should be in the context of a man who has a family. Let me not cry before my kid. Let me not cry before my wife. Let me at least be the last one to start crying. Now, Society and other platforms that don't like male platforms will tell you that this is toxic. They will tell you that you should be the first to cry, even before your kids, even before your woman. Does it matter? But the reality is society isn't comfortable with seeing men be vulnerable and expressing themselves emotionally, which is why I encourage you have brotherhoods, close male friends, I mean, are we really surprised that they're laughing at Corey Hardrick for expressing himself? No, we're not. Let's be honest. We're not that surprised as men. This is a crazy time to be vulnerable as a man. This is a crazy time to embrace your masculinity as a man, to be a strong man. This is crazy times. People do not like it. They don't like it. They want you taken down. These are hard times to be a woman who wants to embrace your femininity and wants a man in his masculine. These are tough times for that.